So baby, you put me on voicemail, right? Okay. Well, it's me, Emeka. I love you and I'm sorry for whatever I did, okay? Don't forget, this week is my birthday week. My birthday comes up real soon. So when you get this voice message, please try and call me back, okay? I love you and once again, I am sorry. Bye. Amiga, have you tried visiting her? Yes, but she keeps shutting me out. Fucking you out. Well, it's now very obvious she's not coming. So could you please just go in there and put on something nice so we can go lunch together? Yeah, trust me, I could do the lunch right now. taking care of the accident victims of yesterday. Oh. And earlier on, we've been checking your office. Well, it's okay. So, what's up? Well, it's, it's about our big day bash. I was meaning to remind you to please come along with the younger sister, Jessica. I really don't understand what this penchant and fondness for my sister is all about. Well, I... What are you up to? Well, I don't expect you to understand. But please do me a favor. Don't miss to be at a party with your sister. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Of course, you've got to see what you can do, and please do it. At the end of the day, I want you and your sister at the party. <laughs> All right? You, you, just don't let me remove your mask. That's my only sister. Just be careful, because you do what you want. Trust me, I realize it's my ass. I'm not careful. I have some patients that I want to get to Okay, I have to go do my work now. Okay, I'll see you later. So, why do you want me to be there? Just for company. Uh uh, don't give me that. Believe me for once, not to go. I just want you there for company. Well, then, let's just see. I can't make it. Oh. Jessica, come on. I really want you to be there. Then why don't you just come on and tell me the kind of games you guys are setting with me in that hospital? What do you mean by that? Come on, it's just a friend's bash and I want you to be there with me, that's all. On what ground, sis? Why can't you be honest for once in your life? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Actually, it's Kunle that wants you, not me. Kunle, why? I don't know. Anyway, that's not why I came into your room. There are some stuff I actually want you to see. Oh, please, please, please. I've had enough of your fix. Besides, Chida will soon be back and I know he'll get them in stock for me. So take your fix to your cheap colleagues at the office because I know they won't know the difference. Yeah, I know. I also know that you need a mouth surgery. <laughs> I'm talking about Chida. Mm. Do you think that Superman will find it funny to hear that you attended the party at his back? <laughs> Please, give him some credit. He's not such a brute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you're coming with me, right? going to flat on me. Oh, come on. I'm not flattery. I'm just trying to express my mind, you know. Then try hard not to flatter me doing that. Okay, okay. All right. It's okay. Uh, Jessica, you see, I was just thinking of having you with me up there when they are done setting the cake. What will you have me doing up there? Of course, in the cake, of course. What else? You see, it will be very dry to have good meals up there cutting the cake. So I suggest you just join me and observe.
Talk of your friend. Haven't he anyone to join him in the party? I don't think so. Is it the girlfriend wouldn't show up after the heart and brow a few days ago? Okay, okay, understand. You know, but still I must register my displeasure over your agencies and your organization. I mean, look at everybody. Everybody is waiting and still sitting. It's all right. Huh? Go. Okay, let's go. Let's call him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we all know why we are here tonight. We are here for the birthday celebration of Kunde and Emeka, two best friends, born the same day, same time, and same hour. Permit me to also say that. Dad actually planned it together. <laughs> Kunde and Emeka, it's time to cut your birthday cake. I will cut it at the spelling of one word. And that word is friendship. So ladies and gentlemen, you repeat after me as I say. F about a beautiful night like this you don't like Mr. Emeka. Diane, so you're still around? Mm-hmm. I'm waiting for my sister. Really? Hmm. Okay. So tell me, what are you worried about? Because he didn't seem happy throughout the party. <sighs> really, I'm not um, worried about anything in particular. 
but you know what um I'm actually not in my best mood. No! Not on your birthday. You know what? Come. Come with me. Just follow me to a quiet place and you can tell me all about it. You know, Kunle told me that you're such a friendly person, but I wonder why you're so dim. Come. Up, 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 up. Yes, Solomon is there. Uh, okay, take her, take her. Run the test, okay? Okay, she's fine. Is there anything that requires money? Anything that needs to be bought? Oh, come on, you don't have to bother yourself. This is the hospital where Diane works. So we'll be giving her the best of treatment. Whatever she requires, we'll provide for her, okay? Are you sure? Ah, uh, you don't have to panic. Just relax. Can relax on that. I'll soon join you, okay? Hello. 
Apollo, good morning. Please, I called to apologize about what happened last night. No, it wasn't entirely... I'm sorry, I tried to explain to a makeup, but... Okay, okay, okay. Let me not take much of your time. But please, can I, can I come and see you? Just give me two minutes of your time. Let me just explain everything that happened to you, please. Please, I promise I won't take much of your time. Let me just explain to you what really happened, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll be there. Bye. Do you think you can just wake up, do anything that concerns you and get scot-free with it? And then next morning you come into my compound, open my door, get into my house and talk rubbish to me when I should be going to work? Is that it? Peeves, actually I, I came to explain to you that there is no motive to what happened. I mean there's more to what happened. Of course there's much more to it, which is your violent action and reaction. Now I expect you to read the handwriting on the wall, which is so perfect, and leave. Yes, let me explain to you what really happened. Please hear me out first. Hearing you out can get me bruised. You know, I could get bruised in the process. Of course, you know that. Just live in peace. Now, Babes, leave. Is that how you see me now? Like someone who's crazy, like a psychopath? Of course, I see you much more than that. Like a psychopath. Listen. Don't let me press charges against you for last night's action. When I'm in my flying mood, you understand me? Then we can talk. Now, please leave. It's not fair. Look who's talking about fairness. Is slapping me fair? Is breaking another girl's head fair? Get out. Bounce. I said leave. Get out. Oh. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Kule, please, no more questions. My head is killing me. Oh, your head? I'm so sorry. I'll get you some pain relief tablet. Good. Ibuprofen will be better. Can I do the prescription here? The last time I checked, you were still a patient in my hospital and I'm the doctor. Then you better be the doctor because there's no improvement since yesterday. Oh, come on, Dan, be serious. I'm writing these things down. It's for the records. For the I am serious. I'm telling you, no improvement whatsoever. I'll get you your drugs, okay? I'll get you your drugs. You know, it feels so good being a doctor's doctor. You. Come there, please. No joke, I am not in the mood. You don't get it, I am dying. I don't even know where your friend got that psycho bitch from in the first place. Oh, let's not go there now. Let's not go there again. And that reminds me, uh, Emeka sends his regard. He said he will be here to see you at the end of the day's business. He's got some cases to treat in the courts. Well, I thank your friend for his concern. You know, I would have been better if I had gotten it without being on this hospital bed. Please, just get me those pills. I will, I will. Uh -huh. uh, how about Jessica, your sister? She left early this morning so she can go to work. Please get the pills. Get, get the pills, please. Okay, I'm still your doctor. Allow me to discharge my duties conscientiously, okay? Good. Eh, it's okay, it's okay. I'll send the nurse to bring you drugs, okay? All right, thanks. I'm 
Look, honestly, I've been feeling so concerned and restless throughout today. Really? I mean, the poor girl didn't do anything. Diane didn't do anything. She was only trying to shake me off the gloomy mood in which this same jail puts me in. I mean, can you imagine that? I just want to go in now and see Diane. That's all. It's, it's all right. It's all right. Just go in and see her. I'll, I'll see you when you're out. Okay? That's all right. And hey, if Jane comes here, I don't want to see her. Understand? No, I'm serious. I don't want to see her. It's understandable. It's okay. Okay. Let's go and see Diane. Is for you. Huh? <laughs> he heard about it, right? I don't know, Colin. I told him things that didn't happen. The person said I fought a girl. Just because of a man and, and the girl tore my clothes to shreds and and I, I walked out of the place naked. It's, it's all right. He doesn't even want to pick my cord, he doesn't want to hear me. It's, it's, it's all right. Okay? It's all right. Oh, huh? Huh? What does she want here? Huh? What I want here? I want your hair. What do you want? You? I want your hair. Hello? Seriously, I don't want to see Jane anywhere around the hospital vicinity. Even the security men have been alerted too. Okay. What if she comes in in a disguise? Or maybe send someone to do it? Oh, come on, Jessica. Why is your mind always on the negative? I've told you Diane is fine. She is alright. The nurses are looking out for her. Okay? So chill. Let's just relax some more while. Kunde, you won't understand. Please, let's just leave this place. I know what I'm talking about. Okay, all right, okay, all right. All right, we're gonna leave, but would you please permit me to at least finish up my drink? Okay, finish up and let's go. Yeah, thank you. I understand your feelings. She's your sister. I just feel that she's fine. The hospital is secure, very secure. I really hope so. Okay. I do hope so. <laughs> Oh, 
heart was on fire. Come, come, come. What's the problem? What to say? Man, my guy, seriously, I'm really thinking about taking up this jeans madness. I'm not going to tell me you're serious, please. It's like you've been having drop of cases to argue in court. Oh, please just shut up, I am serious. More reason why I should be asking. Do you remember the first day I came to your house after you and Jane started this relationship? I received the worst conglashing of my life from her. Just because I want to come into your room and see you. And do you remember what you told me that day? Do you? Listen, I know of... Jane's madness. I've been patient with her, easing up with her, thinking she will change. But right now, my guy, I have lost it. <laughs> no, you are gaining it. You are gaining it. <laughs> and don't you tell me that this was the reason why you made me leave my office and leave my patients to come over to this place. Let me just pretend that I assume there's something good in the kitchen. Hey, 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 hey. Before you get into that kitchen, remember there's no Jane, so there's nothing in there. There you go again. Jane, again. Can't you see you're still gaining it? Jane, Jane, Jane. Please just shut up and tell me about Diane. No, we're not talking about Diane, we're talking about Jane. Because it's Jane, 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 Jane every time. So we talk about Jane now. You're crazy. I'm very obvious. <laughs> From your own point. Baby, please. Hear me out. Let me just explain to you how it happened. Please Diane. just. One more foot near me. I'm going to bundle you out of this house like a sack. You get dead. I mean, what exactly do you want me to hear? How you fought over a man? Or how you were stripped naked in the prison? No! No, that was not how it happened! That's what I'm telling you! Let me just explain! Whichever way, however way it happened, I don't care. But that brings this relationship to an end. You go, I go. It's very simple. Baby, just look at me. Take a look at me. Why are you seeing this kid in me? Please. Diane. Just let me explain. You know what I think? You go and recheck your diagnosis. Because I think it is what you did that is killing you. <laughs> Listen, Diane. Remember to shut that door behind you. After the acting. Baby, please. about our guy, uh, you know, being so mad and uncomfortable with the gist of her getting her head broken and, um, you know, walking out naked. Well, I don't blame the guy, you know, because being a man, you would never be comfortable hearing such gist about your girl. Oh, they are all for your Jane. <laughs> Listen, my Jane, your Jane, whoever's Jane, damn Jane. Listen, I can never, ever think of that girl again. <laughs> I know it's just for the meantime because you know as much as I know I have a chronic problem with that girl. Well, you see, not this time around, bro. Not this time because this time I'm done with her, believe you me. Yeah, so I'll just drop you off, you know, get home, sh shower, and then uh, go pick up a gift, you know, for someone. Whatever, just to yourself. Talk. It's okay. Listen, today is not the end of all. One door closes, they say, and ten more will open. Not today, stop. Not today, stop. Just tell me, what would I do without him? What? I understand what your feelings is. But come and pull yourself together. At least wipe the face a bit too. Oh, okay, no! It's okay, it's okay. Hi. Hey. 
my business if she's crying outside. Wait, Andrew, is this what you actually came here to tell me? Yes, brother. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Andrew. Andrew. Okay. You're fired. Ah! Okay. Shut up and get out. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God, thank you. Oh God, you get me now, okay? Oh God, remember my story. Remember my younger brother. I mean, you are best to make a child that reach university. Andrew, I said stand up. Oh God, thank you. Oh God. Oh God, you get me now. You get me my family. Let me get the help of them all. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. All right. All right. Just stand up. Stand up. You're not fired. Okay, thank you. Now go back to the gate. Thank you. Thank you. Oga. What? What did I go tell him? Tell me what? I thought you said you wanted to stay in the sitting room, so why have you followed me here now? Chips, I'm sorry. Right. Babes, please, please, you have to forgive me. Honestly, it's your love that's driving me crazy. I mean, coupled with a whole lot of other things. Coupled with a whole lot of other what? Huh? Tell me a whole lot of other what? Babes, please. Please, please. Babes, I'm mad. I'm mad, I'm sick, I'm your doctor. If you leave me, I'll die, I'll die, babes, please. Please, I beg you, I'll die. My love, please. From the very day you bore my slap in my father's chambers, I knew you were my messiah, I knew it from that day. Babes, please, I promise I'll be normal, I'll try and be normal. I'm sorry, I'll do it again, please. Please, 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 please. It's alright. You. you just have to try. Yes, I'm trying. I mean, you have to try a whole lot harder. Yes, you're right. I, I won't do anything abnormal anymore. My promise, I won't. I won't. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Stop all this madness, you know. I'm not mad. Yeah, you just get right back. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
not coming with us. Why? I thought I told you we were meant to lunch together. She's been dazed lately, Kunle. Let's just go. You come out and lock up the door. Dazed? Mm -hmm. Okay, in, in that case, I'll, I'll have some words with her. You better don't, because she's paranoid lately. And getting her to talk would be a pretty much bad idea. Paranoid? Yes. Is he about the boyfriend? I think so. Oh, Diane, hi. You are not on your way yet. I I want to lock the door and go back inside. Come on, girl, we are meant to lunch we're together. We're already on our way out, please. Let's go. Lock up your door. Come on, let's go. Just be fine, okay? Turn up about this whole issue. It's not as if he's relaxed. He understands the weight and implication of what Diane is going through. Then what is he doing about it? It doesn't look like he's concerned one bit. Because I don't seem to see anything that depicts concern from him or his Marco girlfriend. Trust me, girl, Emeka is very busy right now. That's the issue. But that doesn't mean he doesn't show concern. He understands. Okay. So what's up now? How was your day? Very busy. Very busy. Had a very effective day in the hospital. So many surgeries. So what? No, what? What do you expect me to do? Huh? I went to her place, gave her gifts I bought with my hard earned money, and she splashed them on my face like I was an intruder. She pushed me out of her house like I was some kind of intruder. I told you these things, didn't I? Of course you told me. But look at what Jane has done in the past. And you forgive her for no just reason. Not talk of Diane, who has I mean, so many reasons for reacting brashly. Listen, I get where you're coming from. Sincerely, I don't hold her actions against her. But tell me, as a man, what do you expect of me? Good. Why are you talking? I mean, she has some concern. She in her grief. Concern. So I should start dating her, right? No one says you should date her, but at least some calls. Calls. <laughs> Listen, I've been calling that girl and she hasn't been picking up. Yes, I've been calling her since last week and she hasn't been picking her calls. You try again. Maybe this time she will. No, 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 wait. Listen, I've got my pride, please. There you go again with your pride thing. That's the problem. Exactly. Call her. I told you. I mean, I've been calling her. What's her problem? Come on, Diane. You should know better than walking your mood down at this rate. I mean, you can't afford to break down with the loss of work we have on our shoulders. Just push everything beside you and life goes on. I know. Kunle, I know, but I'm trying. It's not easy at all. I know it's not easy, but you've got to try harder, okay? Try to make amends with the little mistakes you've made in trying to deal with all this. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Um. I'm very sure Emeka will be very angry with you now. Come on, it's not as if Emeka is mad at you. But come to think of it, Diane, you know you didn't get it right. I know, I know. Whatever. As a matter of fact, Emeka is not entirely mad at you, but you know Emeka is this kind of sober, quiet, gentle person, you know. Please, doctor. The MD wants to see you. Okay. I'll, I'll be right behind you. Uh, then I have to run now, okay? I'll see you when I come back. Hmm? Just do me one favor. Push everything beside you. Okay. Right. Oh God, it's not easy. 
Honestly, it's not easy at all. Of course, I do know it's not easy. Mm, and it's not easy in other fields too. I do know that likewise. <laughs> ah, Mr. Mecca, honestly, I'm so sorry about everything that happened. I'm sorry about what happened in my house. You know, I can't explain it. I don't know how it happened, but I'm so sorry. It's all right. I know I am instrumental to everything that happened to you. All the trauma you suffered was because of me, so it's okay. Huh? I'm dropping you off, right? Oh, please. I, I didn't call my car. And once again, just accept my apology. It is all right. I mean, having waited for me this long, it's okay. I mean, I, mean, I will definitely forgive you. It's okay. Okay, so just hold on. I get it. You are the, um, the guy they were fighting for. Listen, she didn't fight for my sake or for any other man's sake, all right? Everything that happened was just a slight mix-up. Oh, yes. Slight mix-up. And um, she got a card on her head and um, walked away naked. <laughs> Uh, are you trying to tell me all those shit didn't happen? Listen, some of it did happen. Yes. All right? Listen, if you just allow me to sit down and we talk this thing as men, you'll definitely have faith in your girl again. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Hey, but you see, I, it looks like I won't. <sighs> Look, GD. Diane is losing it. Diane is going down by the day, all for yourself. Hey, 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 young man. Don't give me that cheap emotional blackmail. All for my sake, or all for your sake. You said you are the man she got fighting for, and you came here. You think you can pass box to my shooter because you think you're smart. Perhaps when the act of making girls fight for you, at the end, they pay you to fix things up for them. Listen, GD, you're getting this whole thing all wrong. <laughs> oh, well, let me get it straight for once. Get out of my house. Get out. Is that the way you see it? I said, get out. You came in here. And I did not offer you a seat for over five minutes now. And you still can't figure it in your little brain that you are not welcome. Oh, gosh, you are me. Get out of my house. Out before I call the police. What well, I really advise you to think about this. God, you shouldn't have gone that far. I mean, you know Jide is so rigid and I'd already devised means to deal with it. You shouldn't have bothered yourself. Listen, well, I had to try. I mean, I feel so responsible for everything. Not to the extent of taking insults from a fellow man like yourself. Well, I made my mind up for that the moment I took his number off you. Well, I thought you were just going to call him or... No, 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 no. I had to... You know, make it much more formal, have a one-on-one -on -one with him. Yeah. I'm really sorry. Honestly, I am. It's alright. It's okay. That's the cross I have to carry for being involved in the mishaps then. So be it. Well, don't worry. Uh, I'm dealing with it, as you can see. And I know very soon I'll get it right. Good. So, tell me more about the legal profession. You know, back in school, this medicine thing really shocks one out of all the professions. And, you know, there they really make you believe that you are all that matters. 
believe you may be shocked that is the same thing in the law profession as well. In other professions per se. You know, just wait till the meteorologist tells you how important he is in your day-to-day -day life. It's <laughs> very funny. Yeah. I tell you the rains will fall. You know, what's not telling like you? Now it's correct. You should go and be with your partner. Yeah. That's the signal. Trust me. It's sunny. Stay away. <laughs> Get Jane out of this. Really? Is this something in the form of attraction? Oh, please. How can you suggest that? It's just that, you know, you're not under pressure to offend anybody, you know, or, or hurt anybody like in the case of Jane. You know, to tell you the truth, <laughs> I'm much more comfortable with Diane than Jane, really. <laughs> of course. You can't compare the two of them. I mean, Jane is like a fire set around the fuel place. It takes only God's intervention for explosion not to occur. Hmm. Hmm. If it's Jane you're depicting, whoever is believing that should fast for 20 days because with Jane, an explosion would definitely occur. <laughs> of course, of course, of course I know Jane. I mean, if she were to be here, the least you can expect from her is a reckless slap on your face at the talk of any rubbish. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't take long before you delve into that rubbish. Stupid boy. Just make sure she's not at your doorstep to give you a dirty slap for discussing her behind her. And I bet you to be real, this is her sudden pleasure trap. I hope she has not gone to import a love charm to finally tame your little resistance to her free landing slaps. <laughs> you know, I wonder how you wake up, get into your car, drive to the hospital, get into the theater to perform surgery because I know you lost your head a decade ago. How's that supposed to mean? I mean, I'm a medical doctor, you know? <laughs> anyway, not if your body had to do all those things. I mean, this your body cannot even carry a surgery because uh, Jane has so brutally mesmerized the body. <laughs> I don't even know why I told you that in the first place. I see them, you need to tell me. <laughs> Every day. You look gorgeous. Do I? <laughs> yeah, you do. And, um, handsome too. Well, um, thank you for the flattery. I'm not flattering you, I'm telling you the truth. Okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> thank you for the compliment. Ah, <laughs> uh, what is that? What's what? Ah. Uh, uh. Okay. Has anyone told you you have beautiful eyes? <laughs> no, um, <laughs> no one has ever talked to me with such softness and candor. Not even GD? No, <laughs> GD is, is too formal with romantic words. Listen, um, I know you're nervous and um, tensed, but you see, this is my house, and um, you know Jane doesn't live here, so uh, relax and.
It's okay. I, I guess I'll call you. You've had something to eat. Um. Yes. Um, so you 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 didn't. Um, bath. Have you had a bath? Yes. Yes. I, I I was actually you know going out before you you know came. Maybe in. I should have a bath too, just to freshen up. Really? Yeah. Excuse me. Okay. Actually, meaning to, you know, tell you something. You know, talk to me. No, what about? Um, I, I thought you said you were, you were going down south, you know, for your uncle's burial. Yeah. I actually changed my mind. It's so late. Uh, I'm gonna go freshen up, take a bath. Um, take a bath. I, I thought you had a bath earlier. I didn't. Okay, I'll join you later, huh? Now, Diane and I... I don't want to talk about You that. have to talk about And it. I said I don't! And why? That's because it's not important. And I will not dignify that issue with a discussion. Jane, you lie. Remember I know you. It's me. You're lying. So would you be kind enough to tell me where your next onslaught on that poor girl would be? Because definitely this your carefree attitude you're giving is a cover-up to some machination you're about to unleash. Can you insult me with so much impunity? Try depicting your sense of assessment. Is that it? A vicious bench taker? I told you, Jane, there's nothing going on between Emeka and Diane, my colleague. What you might see in them is just a normal transfer of passionate bound that exists when you have a male and a female together. Another thing is, 
you know they say sympathy begets affection <laughs> don't try to misunderstand me what after all that happened to Diane courtesy of your actions America has been having this strong bunch of sympathetic concern for her and, and we are beginning to fall in love right you're getting me wrong that's not what I said see Jane, why I invited you over here is just... Look, like I told Emeka, I can't understand why I'm still insisting on talking about this matter. Whatever I saw him do with any other woman, Diane, or any other person for that matter, is not a problem. I can handle it. See, Jane, listen to me. I'll advise you to guide your relationship with Emeka jealously. Especially now that there are a lot of rumbles. See, girl, Emeka still loves you. And I love him too. I love him very much, Gwili. Every single thing I do is to guard my relationship. So please, don't push things. It might just make us seem like we're not nice people. Well, it's okay. Since you said you can handle it, I'll rather leave you to handle it. But please, handle it carefully. All right. Good. Do you understand me? It was on my invitation you came here, and now I say we're done talking, so it's bye, sayonara, ciao. You understand that? Be Good. Be we need to talk about the reason why you invited well, me that here. that is because you haven't provided me with the answers I need to the questions I did ask you. Do you understand that? Good. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, what? What? Yes. Yes, what? I only hate those guys. So that brings it all to an end. It's over between you and I. Do you understand me? Over. <laughs> What's this? Andrew! Get this I'm down. sorry, I'm sorry. You said you to me. Of course, you can Hey, 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 listen to me. Listen, listen, listen. Now, for your information, I am 
going out right now to see a much more mentally balanced lover all right and this time around you dare not try to do anything because if you try it you will go in for it don't forget i'm a lawyer yes you're leaving me here sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry Kule, please, let's go inside and talk. Please. No, Jane, I've got schedule. And I'm done listening to you because you never piss off. It's a stressful what thing. Did you or did you not? You don't understand. That is not the genesis of the story. That is not everything that happened. Let me explain to you. There is no other side of it that will be as irksome as your slim tendency to violence. Yes. 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 You're right. But let me tell you the genesis of all those happenings, at least so you can know. Genesis? Of course I know the genesis. The birthday party night, isn't it? See, Jane, if you take my candid advice, go and do something about your temperament. Oh, come on, don't you dare whip up those unnecessary sentiments, sir, because a maker will be in a better position to appreciate the more that I will do. So I advise that you package your tears and go to his house and bust it out. Okay? Oh, people. I thought that you were at least going to listen to me. But it's that bad, right? It's that bad. Everybody thinks it's my fault. Of course it's your fault. Jane, if you were brave enough as to have committed all those atrocities, why don't you get brave enough as to take responsibility Because for it's them? not my fault! That's why! What do you want me to do? Huh? Can't you guys get it? How do you want me to compose myself? How do you expect me to behave before a woman who has ruined my life? How do you expect me to behave when I see how close to the man I intend to marry? How? No, you are the one walking round the clock to destroy her life. You broke her head and you arranged gangs on her. What she did obviously nothing to you. That's how far you know. That's how far you know. At least you don't know I went to jail. Yes. And of course you don't know who sent me to jail. Diane? Yes. I don't get it. That's the truth. She was leader of the Black Falcons. The Black Falcons was the leading female cult back then in Uniport while we in school. Diane led us. My roommate, Emem, was also a very active member. And she told me that despite my father's wealth, influence and... <sighs> and protection, that I still needed the protection of the cult. She recounted the amount of rape and arm robbery that was going on in school. I felt it was a good idea. So I joined them.
no longer than one session. And I realized the decision I'd made. And what I'd put myself into. The so-called senior babes started to make life a living hell for us. It dictated our lives. What you wear, where you go, and even the guys you date. The real trouble started when I fell in love with a 200 level student. I was oblivious that the senior mama had her eyes on him. So Jane, do you like it out here? Yeah, it's beautiful. I like it. <laughs> and I guess you love that wristwatch of yours so much. <laughs> because I wear it all the time, of course. Well, <laughs> it's it's really close to my heart. Really? It was the last gift my mother gave to me before she died. Uh oh. And it does bring you memories of her, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> and it kind of makes you cry? What? <laughs> okay, okay, you win. Yeah, but not all the time. This girl again. No. Yeah. The one with the blue hand back. She's she, been flirting around me. Hello, handsome. You didn't tell me you were coming down here to cook. <sighs> I. I didn't know I was going to come down here. <laughs> Don't worry. Guess I have to join you now. Hi. Oh, uh, please, please, join us. Don't worry, babe. I wouldn't like it here. Come on. Let's go right there. What do you mean? Can't you see she's with someone? Bravo. Relax. Don't bother. He's in safe hands with Mama. Oh, Mama, we need to take good care of him. <laughs> At least you can trust me on that one. Baby, let's go. Okay. It's good to finally have you all to myself. Diane! Why are you hounding me all over the place? What have I done to you? I mean, just offer me something if you want to. What's your problem? <sighs> Baby, believe me, I don't have anything to do with her. See, like I told you earlier on before she came to join us, she's the one who's been pestering me, bugging my life, flirting around me. Then why are you taking all this time? Why are you taking all this extra effort to explain to me? It's like, go away. No. I want you to understand it, baby. There's no need for that lie. Please. <sighs> Just go. What did she tell you? What did she tell you that, that, that's making you drive me away without... It's like, whatever she told me does not matter. I've heard everything already. Please, I beg you, just go away. Everything like what? What, 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 what did you hear about me? <sighs> Sly, there's no point lying to me. Just told me the whole story. Fine. I see. So, this is what all those threats was all about. What threat? About how? I cannot date any other girl on campus if I don't go out with her. Well, you know what, Jane? I... I doubt if this game she's playing on you would work on every other girl on campus. I really doubt it. Then you are! Sly! 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 He banged the door on me. I began to sense something. I began to sense something wrong with what Diane had told me. 
she told me he was her man. That I should stay away from him. Because the other senior babes, CC, Beauty, and even Amy, my roommate, had warned me never to sample the same guy as a senior mama. But something happened. Something happened that, that automatically proved Sly right. <laughs> Sly has insulted me. So he has insulted all of us, the Black Falconites. And we have to strike back. I know he loves you. So I want to set him up using you as the bait. First thing in the morning, I want you to get to his room and seduce him. a dog, so I know he will fall for it. Wait 30 minutes and then scream. We'll be standing by with the auntie, see what it's called, and we'll be there to rescue you. Mama, I don't understand you. Rip, clean that he raped you. You understand the importance of this assignment. Because I told her to her face I wasn't going to befriend her. That is why they have sent you to come and friend me up. You're shouting. Please stop shouting. I will shout. I will shout because she's not going to do anything to me. Now listen, girl. You have to leave those girls. I don't even know how you got involved with them in the first place. Yes, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, how was I supposed to know? I was just a few weeks old in school by then. God. God, I'm done for. No! You are not done for. Now, I want you to leave those girls. I want you to call their bluffs and quit that fraternity as soon as practicable. What? Yes. I made up my mind to quit. But when they found out, I'd messed up every chance of them ever setting Sly up. They couldn't take it. <laughs> and as they say, no one dares a falconite with an eye open or be prepared to lose one eye at least. In my case, I lost both eyes. <laughs> I lost my eyes, my nose, my heart, and even my life, Kuli. You expect me to be calm when I set my eyes on her? <sighs> no. That's okay, Sorry. lady. That's okay. Maybe I took a message over. This is a CSU anti course. A student is lying dead at uh, Macaulay Hall, room 219. I'm going to get my message over. Yeah, right here. <laughs> sir, I don't know anything about it, sir. I swear I don't know anything. What do you mean, sir? Nothing, sir. Nothing. I actually, the message he sent to me, sir, I just gave it. I, I, he called me to come, sir. He was the one that called me to come. That's okay, that's okay. Uh, David, I'll take a message over. Uh, you get in touch with other boys. Uh, yes, I'll come with uh, Anamblas. Confirm you got my message over. 
Oh, Roger, Roger. Oh, sir, please, sir, please, I don't know really anything about this, sir. So, that's okay, that's okay. What did you do to him? Nothing, sir, nothing, sir. I just came inside. Be so quiet, my friend. He's like... That's okay, that's okay. Just... Oh. Oh. What? I was sentenced for murder, Kuli. A crime I knew nothing about. My life was shattered. My future truncated. And you said I shouldn't have done more than I did? Jenny is okay. Jenny is alright. Do you know how many years I will have been in prison? Do you know how many years I will have stayed in prison if my father hadn't obtained a state pardon for me? Do you? I was a very quiet girl, Gule. I could even hardly shout. But look at me. Look at what the prison has made of me. And now everyone thinks it's my fault. Oh, come on, Jenny, stop. Jenny, stop. It's okay. It's all right. At least now I know it's not your fault. It's because I told you. That is because I told you. How about people I haven't told? What impression would they have of me? What? So when Jane came in, her father's secretary asked her to wait because her father was busy in the office with the government officials. And before I knew it, Jane brandished this lady with this slap. <laughs> I am not surprised. I told you that girl is a psycho. Just let me finish, okay? Now, they got into this fight and then I made efforts to separate them. And in the process, Jane turned and slapped me too. Not only that, she tore my NYIC discharge certificate, the original one. I just looked at her and started crying. I left the office. Now, I did not cry because I was slapped by a woman or because my NYIC discharge certificate was torn, but because this happened at a time when I decided to stop all the bad things I was doing in the past. You know, like womanizing and cultism. And make something good out of my law profession. Hey! You made a mistake. You should have beaten that demented bitch. I wouldn't dare. I just looked at her and walked out of that office. I continued weeping outside and then she came to me weeping to apologize. Later, she financed the getting back the original NYC discharge certificate and then influenced her father to give me a job. So, you see, Jane and I have been through thick and thin. We've come a long way. And that's why I tolerate her excesses, even though sometimes they do pain me. <laughs> so. You just tolerate her because of her father's connection? No. Jane's connection because she was the one who introduced me to her father. You know, Jane is too brutal to do anything good, you know? Perhaps I never told you that I know her. I know a lot about her. And I bet she has never told you about it, has she? Her gory past. Hey, shoot her. 
don't worry about me. I need a favor. Cool deal. I'll meet you there now. Sounds like regret because I have found out who you are. Babes, you never gave me a chance to explain. Oh, please, please. 16 months of our relationship was enough time for you to tell me everything, especially the ex convict part of you. <sighs> I see. She's told you already, hasn't she? Of course she told me a whole lot more, you bloody liar. And you know what? This thing we call an engagement is off. Look out! Don't! Don't! Don't take it a step further. Oh, shut up! Who do you think you are? You know nothing. You know nothing about her sad, horrible, dirty, terrible past. Gina said, put down. No, I said, shut up! Don't even move. Step further. You want to pull the trigger, right? You want to shoot me? Well, go ahead. Pull it. Because you know what? I'm about to move right now. I'm taking steps out of this house, through that door, and definitely out of your life. Don't! Don't let me! Watch me. Don't! She never told me that was what happened. Yeah, maybe she felt she could live with it. What about Diane? She is in the other world taking care of other patients. How much longer do you intend keeping me here? As long as you are fit to go. Gosh. I just wish I could just lay my hands on that neck and snap it. I mean, she actually thought she could get me food. Just relax, okay? Relax and get well first. See, the most important thing now is that you get well. You get on your feet, get better. Oh my God, talk about other things. Okay? What? That's the truth. No, I mean, that's so hard to believe. Are you serious? Uh, hi. Yeah, hi. Uh, this is Detective Clem. Yeah, hello, Detective. Um, my name is Aleka. I'm Clem Leica, she has told you. Okay. I, she invited me down here so we can talk about your shooting incident. But I, I, I was kind of a skeptic. I don't know if you're fit yet to talk about it. Um, I'm officer. Well, I was um, meant to understand that uh, you were shot by a girl who used to be your girlfriend. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm officer. Don't, 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 
Don't you mind standing? Why don't you sit down, huh? Mm. No, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, okay, um... Are you fit to talk? You know, I, 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 don't, I don't think so. I, I don't think I want to talk about um, the shooting of the incident. What? Maybe you don't talk to him. He's a detective. Look, I don't know what you're talking about, really. Of course you know what I'm I talking don't, about! I don't know what you're talking about. You know who shot you, so go ahead and tell him. I said, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I was the one that shot him. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh, well, so, so, my daughter is here. Uh, but you see, I, 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 I was driving and, uh, and um, you know, I, I, I drove into a, a robbery attack, right? And, and right? And then uh, I was hit by a straight bullet. Simple. Yes, that was what happened. Baby, no. Please don't cover this up. Why don't you say something, bitch? Why don't you know what happened? Sometimes she loses it. Yes. What are you saying? What is your emotion? After that, she's prone to violence. She's very prone to violence. Like hell, no! Help! 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 Soul, here on it you must show the price of Get wickedness. Out. What was that? You Get out. Paid. Get the price of wickedness. You have but then, is it true? Did you do all that to Jean? Oh my god. Why? Why do you have to indulge in such a despicable conspiracy, huh? Just because of a guy, Diane. My god. You are so heartless. You are so mean. Going to join them in condemning me. Yes. I mean, why do you have to go as far as paying someone to take someone else's life? What you did was silly, all in the name of school courts. I think the best thing for you to do is to turn yourself into the police. What? Yes, with all pleasure. You are so fiend. Please. I'm so interested to know that 
one of your cohorts is here in our detention. You need convention, I can say. Officer. Sir. Get up. Yes, sir. I see you need to be convinced. No, I don't need to say anything. Take a look. Yes, sir. Come on, move. So, you need to talk to me. Because I'm losing it. Come try my cooking today. Oh, sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Enough as to 